Hello and welcome, you're watching AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. I am Adirayo Senami. President Donald Trump in the U.S. has announced that it is disbursing $11 billion to states in the country to expand their coronavirus testing capabilities. Meanwhile, the Niger Center for Disease Control, NCDC, this Monday confirmed 242 new cases of COVID-19 in 13 states across the country and the Federal Capital Territory, taking the total number of infections to 4,641. So far, 902 patients have been discharged, with 150 deaths recorded. In another development, the Executive Governor of Adamawa State, Nigeria, al Haji Ahmad Umar Fintiri, through a letter signed by his Chief of Staff, Professor Maxwell Gidado, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, this Monday condoled with the family of Senator Paul Wampana Vimtim and the entire members of the community in Vimtim, as well as the entire movie Emirate, over his demise. The late senator, who was the Speaker of the House in the defunct Gongola State, from which Adama State was carved out, died in his sleep in his home, according to sources. The governor described him as the nucleus of the politics in the present-day Adama State, adding that the state is proud to have him as one of its illustrious sons and a beacon of light. In another development, the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, Nigeria, Malam Mohamed Musabello, has unveiled a 500-bed COVID-19 isolation and treatment center in the Idu district of the territory. This brings the number of patients the isolation centers in the FCT can accommodate to 1,000. Meanwhile, the federal government of Nigeria this Monday inaugurated a 12-member presidential project and implementation team to kickstart the modalities for redirecting the activities of the Ajao Kota Steel Plant. The committee chairman, who is also the secretary to the government of the federation, Barista Bas Mustafa, stated after the inauguration that the preliminary work has already commenced to determine the parameters for an effective take-up of rehabilitation works at the steel plant. The steel plant, which many Nigerians are of the opinion, would have been a launchpad for the country's technological development had been left moribund for years by successive administrations in Nigeria until the advent of the Buhari government. Still on COVID-19, the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development in Nigeria this Monday announced that it will commence this Thursday a pilot for its own feeding program for school children who've been out of school as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. The program will start in Abuja, the federal capital city of Nigeria, Lagos and Ogun states before being extended to other states in the country. In an unrelated development, Governor Yesom Wiki of River State, Nigeria, has directed the prosecution of 14 persons from Adama State for breaching its border closure and lockdown order, adding that their vehicles and cattle be confiscated and auctioned to the public. This action is, however, not consistent with the federal government's directives that allow for uninterrupted movement of food across the country during the lockdown. AD4 TV Radio will bring you more on this as the situation unfolds. Meanwhile, the Italian government this Monday said 20 regions in the country will be empowered to lift or maintain the restrictions imposed by it in order to curtail the spread of the dreaded coronavirus. We'll take a short break now. When we return, Ted Fund Nigeria donates equipment to university. And still ahead, Catholic Church in Nigeria offers hospital as isolation centers. Stay with us, details coming shortly. Coronavirus, they really make you do what you fix today, can't wait. Now, they cocoa thing where you owe yourself be that because if better to survive than for water to run your eyes. Oh, yeah, waka boom boom, begin the use of sanitizer, special mask, and not grief for gumbody at all for anywhere, especially white people, but cool, clear road, arrange yourself, keep social distance, and practice good hygiene for house and surroundings. Do what the government tell you, sit down for house, and make it for no loss. Coronavirus, they all, so make we greet together, waka fighter like a kozuna. Welcome back. You're watching AD4 TV Radio News Update. Health officials in India this Tuesday stated that a total number of 70,756 coronavirus cases have been reported in the country, indicating an increase of more than 3,000 from yesterday. The death toll in the country, according to the statement, stands at 2,293, with 22,454 patients 
so far discharged from hospitals. The country is, however, slowly easing restrictions on movements in some low-risk areas. In the same vein, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 in Nigeria, Barista Bas Mustafa, this Monday said the Catholic Church in the country has offered 425 hospitals and clinics nationwide to be used as isolation centers for coronavirus patients. This development comes against the background of shortages of accommodation for patients in existing centers across the country, as the number of cases continue to grow following the stepping up of tests by the NCDC. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Ilori, Nigeria, Professor Suleiman Abdul Karim, has expressed his appreciation to the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, for donating to his university a 55 multi million naira science engineering and technology equipment to boost teaching and learning in its faculties of engineering and sciences. And that's it on AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. Please follow us on social media at AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84 TV Radio. Many thanks for watching. I am Adirayo Senami.